Yes, I'm pointing to uh, preserve a way of life, to uh, maintain a home, to live in this country generally under what I consider to be an acceptable system, which uh, is basically Christian and capitalistic. Um, if the rest of Africa is an example of the alternatives to this particular system, and if that is what communism represents in general, then uh, it's, I'm going to be against it until the, day I, until the day I finally go. Going back to the uh, history of what terrorists are doing in our country, it looks like uh, somehow they don't think or they don't think it's anyone who is uh, entitled to leave. There can be any doubt in anybody's mind. We speak from experience. We know what we are talking about. We have been successful because we were virtually independent before we declared our independence. And this is the big failure as far as so many of the countries to the north of us were concerned. They got something by name, handed to them on a plate, but in reality, in fact, they didn't have it. They never had it. And when you've got to go cap in hand the next day asking for help from other people, then this is not independence. It is certainly not the sort of independence that I would wish to have. We've got real independence. We have proved our case. We know that it is successful. And we have lived cheek by jowl with a British policy in Africa. We have seen it fail and crumple. We have seen how unsuccessful it has been. So there is no alternative. And if we were to pause for one moment to consider any other such alternative that may be put before us, then, ladies and gentlemen, I say to you, we would be stark staring mad. No, sir. We have set our course, and from now on it is our intention to go on paddling our own canoe. Thank you. of the illegal, repressive, and racial regime of V.N. Smith. The motion before us is adopted with 93 in favor, 2 against, and 12 abstentions. Called patriotic Front here in Rhodesia, the uh, same tribal group, the Mashana, who are in the Robert Mugabe ZANU faction, are going into the own villages where they had lived as children quite often and gone to their own people and committed these uh, terrible crimes. Let's just accept that we are all part of Africa, all part of the world. Let's all work together. And the more we can get people to accept that philosophy, I think the greater the hope for the whole world.